ma'am, would you like to support Troop 420 and buy some of our special brownies? They're extra special. <laughs> Santa baby, put something up under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one named Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh, Johnny, when you know my name is Ray, that's why I believe. I believe. Everything you could possibly need in a Dolls Kill Plus Size Halloween Costume Try On Haul is right here. I'm Dr. Coco underscore Curves on all of my social media platforms. And now, without any further delay, let's hop into this week's Costume slay. Let's go try on some costumes, you guys. Can we get into the Sailor Moon realness? Because, baby, my pink braids are the perfect look for this first look, this Sailor Moon dress costume from Dolls Kill. I think this is so cute. Now, it is true to size. It's a true size 3X. It is short, so I highly recommend some white stockings. Um, some white leg warmers, some white fishnets, or if you're gonna go bare leg, have like some Spanx style shorts on, some biker shorts or something like I do, but I think this is so cute. Now, when I turn around, you'll notice that the zipper is open because the last time that I wore this, my husband actually zipped me into it, and right now he can't do that, and so we're just gonna have to have it open. But it is a true to size 3X. You all can see the short length when I turn around, but that doesn't make it any less cute. And it's very stretchy. So it's big boo friendly. It's big girl friendly in general. It's meant to be a mini dress because it's a mini dress on Sailor Moon. So the style of the dress is actually very accurate and on point. It even came with the little Sailor Moon choker that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And it came with gloves. Now, I don't have both gloves on because I needed a functioning hand to be able to record the video. So, I did have to take the glove off, but it does come with two gloves. I'm actually selling all of the costumes in today's video. So if anyone is interested, please message me on Instagram or in the comments below and how to reach you because these are my cosplay costumes and because once I finish the look, I don't hold on to them. And so if they're good quality like this one and I paid a cute little penny for it, I'll definitely go ahead and do a resale on it. But let me know what you guys think. I think it's really cute. It definitely got into all the details of the Sailor Moon attire, even the way like the little miniature cape that's on the back of her dress, it even did a good job at that. So I'm highly impressed, but Dolls Kill is one of those stores that rarely misses the mark when it comes to costumes. That's kind of their specialty, the goth style, the costume, cosplay looks. Even their everyday clothes are not typically, I guess, traditional everyday wear. They all have like a punk, punk rock, chunky heel, goth look type to it. And so if that's what you're into, which that's what I'm into in some aspects, like with my cosplay looks, and I love a good chunky heel. And Dolls Kill is definitely that store for you. I'm trying to bust on bust on loin, bust on bust on loin, bust on bust on loin, bust on loin. I'm trying to bust on bust on loin, bust on bust on loin, bust on bust on loin, bust on. I'm trying to bust on bust on bust on. As cute as this brownie scout uniform costume is, it's too small. Y'all, I like everything from the beret to the sash. 
the shirt is just spot on because I used to be a Girl Scout growing up. And if you if you were a Girl Scout, then you know that the brownies wear brown. So the fact that they played on that with this look and on the back it says pot brownie that you'll see in a second. I thought that was a excellent play on the actual Girl Scout look. They have a few emblems on here that let you know, you know, what the costume is about. You have the uh, leaf symbol here, and then you also have it on one of these sides of the chest. And then you have this really cute sash that says 420 on it. So, you know, and then it has the different photos the different patches. It has patches actually like a Girl Scout sash would. I just thought this was such a cute play. Now, a couple of things to note. Number one, it's too small. The only thing that fits on me properly is the hat and the top. And the top fits well because it's stretchy and the hat fits well because it's also stretchy. Now, when I turn around and you can kind of see from the side, exactly what I'm talking about. I couldn't even get the skirt zipped up wearing it as a high waist or like under my stomach. And I wouldn't have wore it under my stomach anyway because the top is cropped. But can you see on the back, the wording on the back that is too cute. You could even turn this around and wear it with the wording in the front, but it's really meant to have the collar here. Now, again, let's go back to the skirt because as you can see, it's wide open. And not only is it wide open, it's super hyped up over my butt. But honestly, I feel like that might have been what Dolls Kill was trying to do because the way that this is so high cut in the back, it almost feels like they want you to put on some of those frilly butt panties and wear it to like, you know, a risque lingerie themed style Halloween party, you know, versus a regular Halloween party. But that's why I went ahead and I put these um, biker short style spanks on underneath because I feel like if you're gonna wear this and you have the same problem I do with the rising, that this is gonna be your best friend because my booty's still out, but I have on bottoms so you can't see anything. I have on bottoms underneath here again so you can't see anything i love the sash also but the sash does not fit either it didn't fit over the top part of my body so give no stretch so if you're used to having stretch in your pants or in your skirts that helps you to put them on with ease you're not gonna get that with this so it may not be the costume for you chocolate mrs claus realness in this next costume this is so cute okay y'all i need to know if you've ever shot rev dolls before is it is my butt the issue or is the issue that rev dolls cuts these costumes like this on purpose because why is my whole bottom butt cheek out in every look is it that rev dolls is not tall girl friendly is it that they're dropping the ball the bigger the size of the uh, costume gets? Like, I'm really curious. Or do I need to size up? Which I believe that the biggest size they sell is a 3XL, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm loving the aesthetic. I'm loving what they were going for with the costumes. But I feel like I'm for the price point, I'm not as impressed as I should be with none of my costumes. I kind of feel like this was cheaply made. Y'all see me swatting because the feathers on my wrist, on my gloves, and the feathers around me, they're coming off everywhere. And this hat, baby, this little cheap rinky dink hat, like truth be told, they sell better hats than this at Dollar Tree. I would have definitely swapped this hat for one of those Dollar Tree hats that say something funny on the front. Like, all of these feathers, it, it's a no for me, dog. The only thing I will say is I love the bow in the front. I've been pairing my costumes with these black heels, these black strap around the ankle heels. But I would have probably wore this because it's so short 
with my black thigh high boots, honestly. And so I'm probably not gonna do too much cosplay in this and just save it for around the Christmas holiday season. I just wish it fit better. Like even the top, it rises. Like I had to tuck it under my bra to get it to not keep rising up because of the velvet, uh, velveteen, velvet-esque material that it's made out of. So I have, to, at least the pleather don't stink. I will say that the pleather skirt does not stink. So that's a plus. <laughs> None of the costumes in this haul fit, including this honorable mention from Fashion Over Curve. So I'm a little heated because I paid good money for this. I bought this costume regular price, okay? And Fashion Over Costumes have a no refund policy. And I bought this full price. And baby, I don't know who in the small crotch this crotch was built for, but it wasn't meant to be plus size. I feel like they attempted to make the outfit bigger and didn't make the crotch longer. So literally there's a zipper in the back of it. So I had to unzip that, but I also had to unbutton the crotch in order to even get into it. Once I got into it, I couldn't pull it over my chest until I opened the crotch up. Then when I opened the crotch up, I couldn't get it back closed. Why is the front flap of the crotch longer than the back flap? Don't they know we go from back to front when we snap? I mean, we go front to back when we work, but we go back to front when we snap. Come on, now you got to pull that back part of the bodysuit down, sit on it, grab the other piece, and snap them together. This is not rocket science. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because this was supposed to be my favorite one because it's pink and I just knew that the hair and the look like it was going to be a vibe to the point I was going to keep this and wear this to a Halloween party next year. But I'm disappointed. It won't button. I struggled getting this zip. Well, no, I ain't going to say I really struggled getting this zip back up. My husband was able to come out and zip this one up for me, but it's so short like look at the back none of my butt is covered up like even with these uh biker shorts on i still feel exposed because this fit more like a shirt than it does a whole bodysuit costume <laughs> was a sleigh and you know dr coco got y'all with links in the description box down below for everything that you saw today now go shop let's not delay and comment down in the comments which outfit you purchased or you plan to purchase or who you plan to be this halloween season i'm dr coco underscore curves again on all of my social media platforms and yeah i think that's it Bye. Steph TV. Steph TV. Steph TV.